How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. A little more Oregonian goodness. Barley wine goodness. With a whole bunch of stuff going on. Kind of goodness. Hopefully goodness, I should say. In a form of Ex Novo Brewings. Um, Nevermore. Never had this before. Never heard of this brewery before. This came via beer meal. Via my buddy. Uh, David, thank you very much for sending this off. Crushing it with beer mails, so thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna dive in this sucker, see what she's got. Big beer, mood for a big beer tonight. Um, Ex Novo Brewing Company, um, Nevermore Black Barley Wine Ale, brewed with whole cocoa beans and smoked figs. I dig that. 12% alcohol by volume. Um, brewed with pride in Portland, Oregon. Um, Let's see, in collaboration with Moonstruck Chocolate Company. And on the side here we have, we're proud to share this collaborative uh, project with Portland's very own Moonstruck Chocolates with you. Starting with rich black barley wine base, we added smoked figs from our kitchen and let the beer sit on rare Fortuna number no. four cacao nibs recently uh, thought to be extinct for the past hundred years. Fancy. Um, flavors complex toffee, dark fruit, chocolate with subtle smokiness. Enjoy it now with friends or add it to your cellar. It does have a best after date. Not a big best after date kind of guy. Always break the rules for a couple reasons. One, I don't like to be told when to drink my motherfucking beer. <laughs> anyway, I don't care that much. And two, um, you always got to know what a beer tastes like fresh. That's my biggest adage. Um, this, like, a uh, David who sent this to me was like, you know, uh, you should sell her some of these. I'm like, not going to happen, dude. Unless I have doubles, not going to be sellers because I need to know what they taste like fresh. So it says best after June, um, 10th, 2016. It's April, 2016. We're close enough. Let's put it that way. Only two months shy. Uh, so yeah, label wise, it's fucking killer. I dig it. Like the art design, simple to the point, really nice texture to it. Love the color patterns. You get some wax, just kind of make your nipples extra hard. And there you go. So let's see what this sucker has. Wax. Again, you get to watch me unwax a fucking bottle, because that's really fucking fun. But hopefully we get through. Oh, yeah. This, this is, I'm going to jinx myself by saying this one is going to be really easy. Uh, let's see. Last time I did a wax, this capped bottle from Oregon. Uh, it was a, let's see. It was waxed. It was capped. And then other than capped, there was a cork. So there's the added bonus of a cork to fight off. So that made the opening even funner. Because that's an extra er in there. And that is a real word. See, I thought this was going to be easy, but it's not going to be. So what I'm going to do is cut to the chase and use brute force. Because that works well. Anyway. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Okay. You're talking about a black barley wine with cacao nibs and smoke figs. I expect a little bit darker. Just because of the the way it was worded, you expect blackness to come out of there. You get a really nice barley wine color. What I like my barley wines to look like, so I'm not pooping on it. Literal fucking cream fucking head. The bubbles are so compact, it's not even funny. It looks like a, a bit lighter of a coffee ice cream co color. Kind of rocking the top, but it's just like the initial layer. Then you see this like over bonkers creaminess underneath. And yeah, like I said, it's a deep, deep, rich brown to it. So it looks exactly spot on what I want my barley wines to look like. So legs for motherfucking days on the sucker. Let's get a nose on her. Kind of excited here. Ooh, those figs pop, man. The figs, number one thing in there. I'm getting the figs and I'm getting a little bit of smokiness. I'm getting a little bit of like a milk chocolatey kind of vibe. Not really getting much hot presence. Getting like a generic kind of caramelly sweetness, toffee caramelly sweetness kind of from the um, barley wine itself. But that's pretty much it. But I mean, it's it smells subtle but sultry. It, it, I think it's going to be a good beer. Let's put it that way, based off of the nose. But it's not in your face. It's not uh, going to punch you and knock you down. It's going to be a bit more seductive. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I dig it. So, she looks cool. She smells really interesting, really um, gentle yet forceful, if that makes any sense. Let's find out. Cheers. Cheers. 
Two things. Two things. One, it's a good beer. Two, it needs time. So they're not lying. They're telling you you need to wait. And that's the whole thing. I'm a big ager of beer, so I understand it. But this is how it's breaking down. Get these kind of toffee caramel sweetness right up front. I swallow it. So you have to get this kind of biting, smoky, slight hoppiness. It's a non-generic biting, bitter hoppiness, but it's it's a counterbalance so well with the actual like candied, caramelly kind of sweetness that it, it, it just comes off as like a jarring bite as opposed to actually like a hoppy flavor. And it's cool. It's kind of giving you sweet, but poking in the other end. You know, it's a girl that's kissing you up front and stabbing you in the back. I don't know. I think that's sexy. Anyway, a lot more of those figs now that the head's gone. get this really super gentle smokiness. When you talk about the smokiness, it's smoke figs. I think the figs come through big. Therefore, I think the smokiness is coming through big. A little bit bigger than maybe that's one of the reasons why they want you to sit on it. I dig it. It works for me. I level edits now. But I think in the sweetness, let's get let's skip the, the part I was just going to say and just keep going. Sweetness is nice. Just maybe a skosh more than what most people like. But again, I dig it. Nice body to it, not blowing me away, but it's, you know, it's, you're resting it on cocoa, um, you want to have it age, so you're not expecting the best body, but at the same time, it's nice, and you have a little bit of bittering on the end, and just figs riding throughout. All the tastes are singular. Um, you're getting that the figginess with a little bit of smokiness, but it's like, no, I shouldn't even say those are even slightly separated. Excuse me, you're getting the figginess and the smokiness. I'm getting this kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a, a, um, a molasses, a dark molasses vibe, but at the same time, it's like, it's like a, a rough cut kind of berry. What's up, what I'm looking for? I don't know why I'm, I'm spacing on this right now, but I'm getting like a rhubarb -y kind of vibe out of it, I guess you would say, um, which I kind of dig. So you're getting those figs to smoke, you're getting like a molassesy rhubarb kind of thing with the toffee, and um, you're getting the chocolate in there. Like I said, it's very, very subtle, and it's kind of writing throughout, but everything's singular, and I think that's where the time comes into play. I think this needs time in order to round out and make all those flavors kind of meet each other, as opposed to being, you know, just peaks and valleys of flavor. They just want to be one nice, cohesive bounce. I think it would take more than another two months. I would probably be looking at at least another six to 18 months minimum for these this to round out. But I think this, well, a beer I really dig right now. I think it's cool. I'm really enjoying drinking it and it's a cool experience. I think it's gonna be infinitely more, dig, I'm gonna dig it infinitely more if I had more um, in months to come. Um, this smells super cool. The nose is awesome. Yeah, everything is going to come together. You can just tell. It's a fun beer. I dig it. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better barley ones I've had as of late? No. Um, well, I th if I waited maybe six to eight months, like it told me to fucking do it in a bottle or even a little bit longer, I'd probably say yes. So that's my guess. Um, would I buy it again? Yes. At least the age and to see. I'd love to have a couple just to see how they age over time. Value availability, no fucking idea. Can't get it near me. Small brewery out in Oregon, um, and I can't buy it, so I have no idea what the cost is. Um, David, he uh, always comments on, on uh, prices and stuff like that, I believe. Yes, he did. He just did on one review I popped today, so I'm sure he'll chime in and let us know. And um, let's just get to the fact, if you like what we like this, hmm, this is an interesting one, actually. I'm not sure... What I can relate this to, actually. The closest one I probably relate this to, and the last time I had it was aged five or six years, so it's hard to relate, but it's different, but kind of the same vibe as another black barley wine. It would be the Jack and Ken's, I believe, black barley wine from Sierra Nevada. Not a big Sierra Nevada fan. The barley stuff I'm kind of get, I can get down with, but Jack and Ken's at their 30th anniversary series really did, did it for me. And that's kind of like 
kind of the same vibe I'm getting off of this sucker. So uh, if you're into that, you'll like this. If you like, um, like I said, like unripened, rough kind of berry, like, a, um, like, a, I don't even know how to put it. Like I said, um, rhubarb. But to me, like, um, like rhubarb pie, man. If you like that, you'll like this, I think. Because that's kind of the vibe I'm getting off it. And it's pretty cool. Um, and if you like, uh, just interesting, I guess you would say. Because I think this is an interesting, well-made beer. The flavors in here are really cool. They're really robust. But like I said, time is outside. So definitely look out for these for about a year or two old, I think. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below and like, subscribe and all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers and all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice black barley wine right now and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.